This video was made possible by Artlist, more on them later. In this video, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of tips and tricks for editing with music inside of Final Cut Pro. The first tip is to put your music into a secondary storyline before you start editing it inside of Final Cut. Let's say I needed to cut out the center section of this song. I'll go ahead and use my range selection tool with R, click and drag, and then go ahead and delete it. But now that I've deleted and created this gap between the music, I need to do a couple more actions to get the music together. First, I'll need to get my arrow tool with A, then click and drag that back to the original piece of music so that they are now connected. We could save ourselves a whole bunch of clicks if we just first right click and then select create storyline or if we were to push command G. Now that we've done that, we've given ourselves a secondary storyline that has all of the same capabilities as the original magnetic timeline here in the middle. So I can push R, click and drag and delete and the music will go ahead and move itself over, saving me those precious clicks. So now that our music is in this secondary storyline, we can jump on to my next tip. This tip is essentially how I go ahead and shorten down music to whatever edit I need. So for example, this song is one minute and 53 seconds long, but I only need it to be a couple seconds long. So what I would do is go ahead and zoom into the beginning here with command plus, and I'll go ahead and push play. So I wanted to end right on this note here. I'll go ahead and mark that with M, then I'm gonna create a cut here. I almost always try and go to the very end of the song to find a moment that matches pretty closely to the point where I am making this cut. So let's move our playhead to the end and I'll zoom in here again with Command Plus and we can see this little peak in audio here which is usually a good indication of where the music cut should be. So I'll go ahead, move my playhead over the top of that and push Command B to create the cut. Again, now that we have everything inside of the secondary storyline, I can select the center portion and go ahead and push Delete. So now our music has been automatically pushed over here to the far left side. So let's go ahead and take a listen to see how this is sounding. And that in and of itself is working pretty well. But there are a few extra steps you can take in case you're struggling with the transition. One is to go ahead and just select both audio elements, right click, and then select expand audio, or you can get that with control S. Now we just need to make sure that the peaks of audio are lined up with each other. So let's go ahead and stretch out the left part of our song, and we'll also stretch out the right part. We could zoom in even closer here if we wanted to, and just make sure that these peaks are lined up. You'll notice that the peaks are actually a bit off here, which could result in a not so smooth sounding edit. One way to fix this is to push P to get your position tool. Then I'm gonna push comma and that will slide it over one frame, or we could push period to move it to the right one frame. Now by adjusting it over to the left one frame, we've actually lined up pretty well. If you ever need to make adjustments that aren't working at a frame by frame level and you need to actually get down to a subframe level, you can do this with the keyboard shortcut of option, then using command or comma to slide over by one subframe. And this is such a small step, I really can't zoom in any further, but if we take a really close look, I'll push option and comma, and now we are sliding to the left by a subframe, or to the right, we can do the same thing by pushing option period. So we can slide these different audio peaks so that they are lining up perfectly, giving us the smoothest transition possible. Now it should be noted that you can only adjust audio at a subframe scale. You can't adjust your videos at a subframe scale. Now that we have our music lined up, we can go ahead and trim back these edges and that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and push play to test it. So we were super fortunate and this song worked out perfectly with our edit. But what if you're not so lucky and you have music that you need to end at a difficult spot? Go ahead and just park your playhead a little bit after the peak of where you want the music to end. From there, I'm gonna push Shift H and this is going to create a hold frame. We've essentially now just extended out our audio with this hold frame and I can click and drag this hold frame for as long as we need it to be. From there, we're gonna apply some reverb. So we'll jump into our effects and just look up the cathedral effect. I'll apply that onto our music and so now everything is going to have this cathedral sound. But what we can do is go ahead and animate this cathedral sound coming in. So let's drag the amount down to zero and we'll go to just where the peak of the music is. We'll click to add a keyframe, move forward a few frames and then drag that amount slider up. And what you'll notice is we have this peak and the reverb continues to trail off with the audio waveform here. 
So maybe neither of the two previous tips are working for you. Well, one other thing you can try is pitching down your music. To do that, we'll go ahead and look up the pitch effect over here inside of our effects browser and just apply that onto the music. From there, we can find the point of music where we want it to start to end and we'll find the amount slider. Click to add a keyframe and move your playhead forward and then just drag that down. So now this music is going to kind of slowly go down into a deeper tone and we can use that to fade out the music. So maybe none of those tips for ending a song at a specific point is working out for you. That is where this next tip comes into play and that is just to simply retime your music. A lot of people know that you can retime video elements but they oftentimes forget that you can also retime musical and sound effect elements. So if you ever get into the position where your song's just not quite long enough, all you need to do is select it and push Command R to get the retiming editor. From there, you can go ahead and just click and drag this handle to shorten it or lengthen it as much as you need. But something to consider with this is you need to be working with high quality audio. Fortunately, I'm using music elements from Artlist, so everything sounds incredible. Or we can stretch it out. Both versions are perfectly usable and could easily be used in any professional project. Now this next tip is so incredibly useful, especially if you're subscribed to something like Artlist where the music has multiple variations on a song. For this example, I have a song that has both an instrumental version as well as a version with vocals. And oftentimes in my edits, I wanna bring in the vocals at pinnacle moments in the story. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both of those variations of the song and I'm gonna right click and then select new multicam clip. From there, we can just call it synced music or really whatever you want it to be. And I would also recommend to go ahead and just set the frame rate to the same rate as your project. This can help mitigate issues down the road. From there, we'll go ahead and push okay. Now that we've done that, we can drop this down on the timeline. It's gonna look like just any other music track, but what's really handy is we have multiple variations of the same song completely synced up. If we double click on it, we can see both of those variations happening here. We have this Louis Island, My Home, and then we also have the no lead vocals version. I'll go ahead and back out from there, and I'll push Command Shift 7 to get a view of our two multicam edits. So now all we need to do is click on the version that we want throughout our edit. We can also do this with one and two on our keyboard. So if I were to push play, on the road, I've been away for far too long. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push two to cut out the vocals. And now I wanna bring the vocals back in, so I'm just gonna push one on my keyboard. I'm a name. Now the reason I'm able to select between both of these versions is because of Artlist, the sponsor of this video. As I'm sure you're aware, there are a lot of different websites offering music and sound effects and stock videos. So what makes Artlist different? Quality. Just straight up quality. In fact, I've completely changed all of my asset needs over to Artlist because the quality was so much higher than any other library I was using previously. Not to mention they've integrated AI into their search engine, which means you can look up a favorite music artist or genre of movie and it will find clips that are extremely similar to that. As a thank you for watching this video, Artlist wanted to hook you up with two free months when you sign up for an annual plan using my links down below. Thank you Artlist for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the tips. So now that we have all of these edits with the same song on our timeline, you might need to go ahead and smooth over some of the cuts. Go ahead and push T to get your trim tool. Then you can select an edit point. After that, I'm just gonna push option T and that is going to create a cross dissolve. Now it's very minor. You couldn't really see anything going on. So I'm gonna have to really zoom in here, but you'll see that Final Cut Pro has automatically added in this nice little cross dissolve for me. Additionally, I can select both of those musical elements and push Control S. That's going to expand it out and we can now see exactly what Final Cut Pro did between these two edit points. Both of these have this nice S curve to them and it's actually gone ahead and extended out the musical elements for us. And finally, the last tip I'm gonna cover is a super simple one that I actually just recently discovered. If you get into a position where you want to trim off the beginning of a song, but you don't wanna 
create the cut and then slide everything back over. What you can do instead is push T to get your trim tool. Now with that selected, we can come to this front edge and click and drag. And you'll notice that this is actually sliding everything with this edit point, which can be super convenient and save you a couple extra clicks. So again, that's just the trim tool clicking on that front edge and sliding. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may wanna check out this video where I show you one of Final Cut Pro's very best audio features and how to use it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.